Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Nanite Skeletal Meshes in Unreal Engine 5.5 once again. Now, if you haven't seen the video I made yesterday, go ahead and check that out first because I talk about it a little bit and show you how to turn it on. But reading the comments yesterday, I saw a lot of people wanting to know the difference between the FPSs whenever you turn on Nanite Skeletal Mesh and whenever you have it off. Now, like I said before, this is very much so experimental. I don't really expect this to work straight out of the gate, especially when they just added it recently, right? Three days ago, right? But at the same token, I went ahead and packaged two different packages, one with skeletal mesh nanite off and one with on. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Now, again, this is probably not going to be a scientific test because it's legit brand spanking new. Now, what I'm going to do first is open up the nanite skeletal off package. And again, I'm recording, and I'm also recording this using the same exact laptop. All right, so let me go ahead and fly up here. All right, so here is our Nanite Skeletal Mesh project with it off. All right, so this is 500 Skeletal Mesh animating, all right? They're not syncing. They have all different types of animation in them, even though some of them are going to be synced up similarly, but I made sure that you know, not all of them is doing the same thing like y'all wanted to do. Uh, additionally, the scalability setting for this is set to epic. So not high. This is epic. And again, I'm running this on a Lenovo Legion laptop i7 Pro. And we're getting about 22 frames per second. And let me just kind of show you how massive this is, right? So this is with Nanite Skeletal mesh off and again we have two different characters in here although they're just copying and pasting their instances one is the space marine is 130,000 triangles and i believe the valor knight here is maybe 80,000 so that's what we're kind of working with and as you can see here 15 frames per second this is like xbox right it's not really like running really well so let me close this off and we are now going to take a look at nanite skeletal mesh on okay so let me go back to my folder and i'll say plug in so it means it's on and let's double click that this is all real time i'm not touching it boom now that everybody is loaded in we are now getting 60 frames per second Right? And I know a lot of people were asking me yesterday, what's the big deal? Why is Nanite Skeletal Mesh a big deal? Well, from 15 to 20 frames per second, our FPS legit just doubled by just switching it on. And the crazy thing about this is, this is experimental. They just added this, right? And we are already in epic scalability settings on a freaking laptop with 500 skeletal mesh running around animating. We're getting about 55, 50 frames per second. I mean, I'm in the middle of this thing. Just look at this. And, and one of the cool things about this technology, if it's going to work the same exact as the static nanite meshes, in theory, if it's the same, we should be getting less file size, less hard drive space whenever we're using Nanite Skeletal Mesh. Now, this is very important because Fortnite right now, for me to upload an island, it has to be 400 megabytes cooked or below. So if you're thinking about video games in general, this is a good look, especially with how many video games are being developed in Unreal Engine 5 right now. Because honestly, if the people making Wukong saw this today, they're probably going to delay Black Myth Wukong again. I don't know. I'm just kidding. Because I know they were using Unreal Engine 4, and then UE5 came out, so they delayed it. But this is big. Think Cyberpunk 2077. We have nanite skeletal meshes in. I mean, that's just some of the benefits. Of, of nanite skeletal mesh is now we're getting some frames per second back clearly in an experimental mode. We don't have to worry about manually LODing. Granted, 
the auto LOD in Unreal Engine 5 is actually pretty darn good upon import. But, man, this is, this is some exciting stuff. And, and again, those people that are swapping over to Unreal Engine 5 for their next video game, like Hideo Kojima, they are in for a humongous treat. That said, that's pretty much it for this video. I know some of y'all wanted to see this comparison. Again, this is very new, experimental, not officially out yet. I hope this video answered some of your questions. I can only imagine this is going to get better from here. Maybe one day they'll mix it in with some machine learning and even help us out tremendously with frames per second. Uh, this goes with rendering, I'm guessing, as well. Because whenever you render, the engine runs. So if you're getting FPS here during real time, I'm sure that this is going to benefit you whenever you're rendering massive amount of skeletal mesh as well. That said, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see y'all later. Peace out.